Uh, well, the Rock Church's nutrition ministry is offering the community free cooking classes. Coming up, we'll explain how these recipes will help ward off the flu. You've heard of the Foo Fighters. How about the Flu Fighters? It's coming up next. <laughs> The Rock Church's nutrition ministry is offering free cooking classes to provide the community with recipes that will be helpful during this flu and cold season. So joining us with more about the cooking classes, our nutrition ministry leader, Joanna Daniels, and Rock Church pastor, Becky Anavasario. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I understand. I'm coming. I'm squeezing in over here between <laughs> you two beautiful ladies. All right. So we're talking about foods that fight the flu. We always hear the old wife tales of, you know, starve a cold, feed a flu, but it depends on what you're feeding it, right? Absolutely. It's very important what you feed it. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about two recipes. Okay. We're going to do a soup recipe because everybody loves something warm yes, when they're not feeling good. Right? Now. Exactly. Oh, right. So, um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to focus in on a vegetable soup. Okay. So we start off with vegetable broth more antioxidants, right, with those vegetables. Makes sense. And you can do this with any veggies that you have around the house, you know, well, in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. And so, uh, but we're focusing in on celery, carrots, mushrooms, and onions today. Okay. Now, you want to have three main ingredients, and that is ginger, garlic, and turmeric with black pepper. Here's the reason being, garlic and ginger, antiviral, antimicrobial, and good for cleansing the blood. And then turmeric, anti-inflammatory for those aches and pains that we all get when we're not feeling good, right? Makes sense. Yeah. Well, the great thing about this is it's easy. We like easy, right? Yes, especially Simple. if you're sick and you're the one, you're the house cook. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yes. So you can freeze this, put it in the freezer, bring it back out if someone else gets sick again. Good right? idea. I like that. Saves us time later. Absolutely. So the second one is a little bit sweet. So we all like yes. something sweet, <laughs> right, when they're not feeling good. So this is an, another easy recipe as well. So it's just chia seeds, almond milk, honey, but if you have kiddos under the age of two, you've got to use um, the maple syrup, raspberries, lemon, and vanilla. Throw it all in a bowl, put it in the fridge, and voila, it's done. Really? Yes. Would you like to try it? Oh, you know it. All right, let's do it. If it's sweet, it's for me. It's like tapioca. Yes. All right. With well, chia seeds, they're good for you, right? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to keep this, Joanna. Okay. <laughs> good. good. Okay. We have a hit, right? And the soup is really easy because you just throw the vegetables in with the, the vegetable the stock and mm -hmm. you're good to go. And you're good to go as okay. long as you have those three main ingredients, right? So these are two simple, simple, good. easy um, recipes that we are examples of that we do at our community cooking classes, okay? And, and how can people get involved in the, in the cooking classes? How does that work? So you can go to sdrock.com forward slash nutrition. And we have a new one coming up on next Tuesday. Okay. And it's special because it's, act it's actually going to support, support Toys for Joy. Which moves us right along to the next uh, segue here. Yes. We don't, we don't have to cook to uh, donate toys or hand out toys, right? That's our, yes, that's there, our saying. <laughs> there is no need to be a professional chef to come and be a part of Toys for Joy. We're actually looking for 4,000 volunteers to come wow. and support this huge, massive event. We're in four locations all over San Diego County. Okay. Um, they can look, you can look at sdrock.com for, for details on that exact address. But we're going to prepare about 20,000 lunches that we're going to serve that day to give to everyone for what, free. What day are we talking about? December 14th. December, December 14th. Yes. Okay, so we need volunteers to to come and hand out the lunches. The lunches, yes. We're going to be giving out free groceries. We're also, um, you know, there's other opportunities like parking, face painting, nails. It's just this huge festive event to start the holiday season. Okay, so December 14th at all four locations. The all Rock four Church? locations. Perfect. Yes. And are you still looking for new toys? Yes, we are. At, we need 20,000 toys because we have. <gasps> okay. Yes, we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Joanne. Anna, Becky, we'll have more information on our website at KUSI.com, but go to Rock Church uh, to get involved in the Toys for Joy. It's a great event every year. We'll be right back. Stay with us.